Alrighty, everyone, good evening and welcome to Oblivion, and for all intents and purposes, the conclusion of the Shivering Isles DLC. This has now been over 10 hours we've been playing this DLC. I feel it is time to wrap it up. It feels like we are in the home stretch. I've been checking on the achievements. There's only one left, but we just got a mission from Shiogarath, who literally disappeared. And he said he's going to turn into that Jig Jigalag or whoever, who I guess is his... Jeez, uh, polar opposite? But he, it's him? Like, he turns into this guy and then destroys the whole the whole world, I guess? Um, so we've been tasked Speak with trying to recharge Shiogarath's staff. And if we do that, then we can claim the throne, and apparently that somehow can stop Jigalag. I'm not sure. I really have no idea. I guess we'll see. But anyway, um, yes, thank you guys for being here tonight. Let's see how the DLC ends as we try to figure this out. Jay, good evening. It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Travis says, you look like you're about to hunt some deer. I know. I got the... Tonight we have the McFly vest and the fake hair hat with, with the freaking camo on it, right? The fatigues. So, <laughs> I, I admit it does look kind of silly. Oh, crap. I might have to go on foot because as you can see... There's a mountain range here, and I think if I fast travel to Dunroot Burrow, I can't get over the mountain. So I might have to just go from where I am and walk through this marsh to get to this Knife Point Hollow, which is where apparently we're going to recharge this Sheogarath staff and hopefully be able to finish up the DLC. Finished up my coffee, which is good. Dark Golbok dinner was good. It was turkey hot dogs. And uh, some beans, and it was pretty good, even though it was very fast, nothing special, but, you know, it was so hot this week we couldn't really cook in the oven, so we're just doing stovetop quick stuff. Um, let's see here. Charles has done a $2 super chat. He says, I'm donating what I can from the Baxter Relief Fund. Well, thank you, Charles, for the super chat tonight. I appreciate that. In addition, Only Ice Coffee just re-upped his membership for 24 months, which earned him the two-year anniversary rose gold crown. And he says, finally, has hit, I've hit two years. This looks hella good. I really like those rose gold crowns. Someone complained today about it, said they like the old one better. But outside of that, everyone else seems to like it. That's the two-year anniversary crown. And uh, you got to be a two-year member to get it. There is one other crown available at three years of being a member. Next year, some, some of you will earn it, the diamond crown, which also is really cool looking. Um, but congratulations, Only Eyes Coffee, and thank you for two years of support here on YouTube. And I also got a, a tip. Okay. So Jinx, uh, Jinx uh, did another $5 tip. Says, don't worry, this will not be my last contribution to the stream ever. I do have a lot of giving back to do for the years I've watched. This is truly the beginning, so let good times roll. Thank you, Jinx. Jinx, a special week. Jinx has been incredibly supportive of the streams this week in any way. He's been gifting memberships. He's been tipping. It's been crazy positive around here because of Jinx. So everyone, you know, thank you to Jinx um, for a great week. Sounds like it's tapering off for now, but Jinx shall return. And I received a $2 tip from an anonymous tipper. If you haven't, please go to High Cross and speak to an Argonian lady named Runs in Circles. It's funny. High Cross. That's not the DLC, correct? That sounds like it's the normal game. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll have to look into that once we beat this DLC and head back to the main world. Thank you for the tip. High Cross and Runs in Circles. What a name. Ladies and gentlemen, Only Eyes Coffee has just gifted five memberships to the channel. Congratulations to No Benny, Drew, Dean, Ted, Eric Chun, and Ricky. Congratulations to the five of you. A lot of people getting gifted memberships tonight. Wow, it's pretty crazy, right? That is awesome. So now with that... We're actually at uh, 647, 647 members. We got a lot this week. We started off this week in the 500s. We did. So we have jumped a ton this week. Thank you all so very much. All right. Now, without further ado, let us head towards our goal here. I don't think we've actually walked this way before. Let's see if we can get over there and uh, and get to this cave where we're supposed to charge the staff of Shilgarath. Who apparently is dead, right? He turned into Jigalag. And Jigalag is coming to destroy the realm. So now we have to go do this to stop this. Greetings, DC. 
He has a snowy mountaintop haiku, ice cold winds blowing, snow falling, lakes iced over, frozen mountaintops. Thank you very much, DC. I believe that's more in reference to my current uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom progress. We were in the snowy mountains of Rito today, which is uh, an interesting area because in the original game of Breath of the Wild, there is no snow there. It's actually just like, like, a, a, like mountaintops of high elevation and stuff, but now the entire thing's been taken over by a blizzard, that's actually part of the plot, is that you're trying to figure out how to undo this crazy blizzard that's frozen over the Retins. I guess they're called Redoins, Redoins, Redins? Not sure what they would be called, but yeah, you're basically trying to save them, so. So here we go. So it's saying it's down there? I'm just gonna walk straight at the high elevation and see what happens. I don't wanna drop down just to find out it's high up again, but I get the feeling it is down there in the water. It looks like it is, right? Okay, good evening, Cracker Jacks. How are you? Good to see ya. How's it going? Looks like I got another tip. Jeez, you guys are so awesome. Thank you for the support. All this week's been so amazing. Uh, Got a $1.50 tip from an anonymous tipper. The weekend of June 3rd, will you be doing DSP versus the internet that Saturday? Um, that's an interesting question. All right. And, you know, Street Fighter 6 is coming out June 2nd. And, obviously, when it's a new release, I kind of want to focus on it nonstop. However, we do have an entire channel dedicated to reacting where people are members just to do the react show. All right. So, I have to do the react show at some point. Um, I guess what we'll do, let's get a little closer and let's talk it out that week, maybe figure it out. I'm okay with still doing it Saturday. I just don't want people to be upset. That I'm taking a major stream the day after Street Fighter 6 releasing to do the React stuff. Because we could still do Street Fighter 6 that night. And then continue to play Street Fighter 6 further on in the week. So, let me put it this way. As of now, let's leave it as is. Let's say, yes, I'm going to do DSP versus the internet on June 3rd like usual. But if we decide against that and change it when we get closer to Street Fighter 6, we'll do that. But for now, let's say yes, so that way there's no confusion. Okay? What in the hell is that? That's it. Like, we gotta go down there. That might be it. How the hell? What is that thing? What was that noise? I don't like that noise. Ladies and gentlemen, another member bomb has dropped. This member bomb is from someone named The Stranger, who also has been a member for multiple months. The Stranger has gifted five memberships, and they have gone to Ryan Wilson, 1352, Kozo, Stuffed Spendas, and Pimpin Pat. So congratulations to the five of you. Thank you to The Stranger for the gifted memberships. Guys, be sure to go thank The Stranger now for those. It seems like everyone is working together here to support DSP Gaming tonight. Thank you guys so very much. Over 650 members again. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. We are just about there. Ew. This is it. Wow, this is unique. We haven't seen a building that looks like this in the whole game, right? Alright, we'll see what this is. Knife Point Hollow. Oh god, I can't see anything. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, no, no. Not again, man. Please don't tell me it's another grindy-ass dungeon after all of that. Thank you so much, Minty Pigeon, for a super chat. He said, have a good, safe, happy day off tomorrow. Thank you so much. That is a very nice thing to say. I appreciate that very much, Minty Pigeon. And the same to you, because you I know you won't be around either, right? We're not, no one's going to be here tomorrow. Hope you have a safe and fun day tomorrow away from my streams. And, you know, we come back nicely refreshed for Thursday. Good afternoon, No Sleep Real Vibes. How are you doing? Okay. Teseo says, hey, if you finish the DLC, definitely restock on potions. I mean, it's the first thing I'm doing. I'm going to go repair my armor, restock potions. I, it's been insane that I haven't had the opportunity to really do anything in that regard because this DLC doesn't have any, right? Like, this DLC literally doesn't have anyone selling potions. 
Scuffed spendas, you test su are successful. We see you're talking. <laughs> we can see you're talking, yes. Oh, I should save, huh? Let's save. All right. Only Ice Coffee gives it another membership. And this one goes to... Sister Fister 5000. What an amazing name. Well thought out. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Only Ice Coffee. And the man who fists his... <laughs> I can't even say it. Sister Dude, uh, be sure to... Uh, Thank Only Ice... Oh, shit. Be sure to thank Only Ice Coffee for that gifted membership. Oh, my God. It's weird. This guy's bones are flapping around. It's so odd. You ever see a skeleton whose bones flap like that? Complete shambles. you got to be shitting me. Do you see how many times I had to hit it to kill it? I have no health left. I just stand there wailing on the fucking thing non-stop for it to die. It's ridiculous. Let me see if I have to repair my stuff, by the way. Only Ice Coffee gifted more memberships? Okay, I can't I can't look right now. Allow me to play the game for a bit. I'll shot these out in a minute. There's only a 16%. Holy shit, am I glad that I repaired it? Yes, I can repair the Golden Saint armor. This is excellent. I can repair it normally like other armor, and it's super duper good. All right. So congratulations to Luca Taggart, as well as Salvatore1427, who both just got gifted memberships. So that gets us up to 655. Only Ice Coffee's going crazy. How about this? I'm not going to put another goal. That's enough. You guys are awesome. If you want to give more memberships, please, by all means, do. You're helping the channel tremendously, and I'm sure everyone's grateful. But I'm not going to keep putting this goal up there. <laughs> Alright. Holy moly. Okay. Very, very nice. Now. We're going this way. I have no healing besides this spell that really doesn't recharge. Am I just going to have to run through here because I have no potions? I mean, this is atrocious, this DLC. I'm sorry. I don't know who the hell thinks this is a good one. The entire DLC is just an insane grind with no resources. Like, why does nothing drop potions? The hell happened there? The wall collapsed. How's it going, D Dius? I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mithar. Wow, Jinx has given more memberships. Has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me. If you wish to take the place of Shale What the hell? Only that coffee gets to... Ask me what you will. There's so many gifted memberships, it's ridiculous. Jinx just gifted five more memberships, and then Only Ice Coffee just gifted five more memberships. Okay? So, at this point, this is ridiculous. I don't even know, like, <laughs> who's getting what. So, here. So, Jinx gifted five memberships, and they went to... Lionel Sancha, Experiment N, Zeladon, Wall Willow's Beach Bro, and Boss Hawks. So congratulations to you five. Then Only Ice Coffee gifted five more memberships. They went to Alice Eyes, Marxist Carl, Wee Woo Wagon, Michael Edwards, and Turtle. So that's another... Oh, crap. What did I just click? That's another ten memberships for the channel. Hypnotic Jinx just gifted ten more memberships. Ten more! And those are going to Gold Gold Goldfish Just Norlowski Samwise Gamgee Moxerus Luke Jones Anthony Kevin Nelson TP5000 Eddie Caceres and Flip Flop Flipadelphia Only Ice Coffee just gifted 10 more memberships to the channel So we have to add 20 and another 10 are coming 
So we're at 675 and another tender coming right now. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Never before have I witnessed such such generosity. Congratulations to the following people. White Wolf, Austin Sam, Derpy LaDerp, Ethan Redfield, DTF Steak Fries, Liam Michel, Mr. Tubman2013, Dadja Craze, Lummix a hired hoodlum. I wonder if that's the real one. Cosmos Wolf. Okay. Congrat wait, the governor and Davies2983. As well as Gamer Guy and Tommy Nook. Wait, what's this? Why are there more? Wait, what? Hypnotic Jinx gifted 20 more memberships? Camo. Sogo Osaka. Triceratops. The Crimson Nine. Sued again. Ronnie. Faldrin. User Z123. Jade Van Zill. Roberto, Ro Roberto Wodoboto Ramrod. David. Mark Stokes. Jake Bauman. Eric Johnson. The Governor. Davies2983. Sarah Sagata. Gamer Guy. Tommy Nook. Grave Marker LP. Wait, there's more. There's more. I can't, I can't even count up with them. I can't keep up with them. Is that it? All right, that might be it. That might be it. But I lost track. Now, I can't even... I have to actually look it up on the leaderboard on my... Uh, I actually have to look on my... Um, what do you call it? My... Uh, my YouTube page. I can't even look up who is getting what anymore because there were so many I lost count so I have to look it up on my YouTube dashboard page here the members the membership page hold on I'll look it up in a second I'm trying to refresh it here so according to the membership page okay we are currently at 705 members 705 members thank you guys very 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 much to jinx to only ice coffee to the stranger. Thank you so much for the support tonight. Crazy amount of support on tonight's late stream. 705. We're back to 700, which is awesome. It's been a while, right? A couple months since we were around that, that amount. Sweet. All right. Now, let's continue, shall we, with the, with the actual DLC? If there's more shout outs to give, I'll give them out. Guys, if you've got to get the membership, be sure to thank Jinx or Only Ice Coffee or The Stranger. You know, be sure to show your thanks for that, okay? Alright. Let's continue. So, how do we do this with this staff of Shio Garath? I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But Apotheos, this is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order. Oh, come on. Now I have to go get more collect quest items. This is ridiculous. This DLC is fucking terrible, man. <laughs> I can't believe so many people talked up this DLC. It's endless nonsense. Endless boredom. Okay, now. Tell me about the first item. Uh, only Ice Coffee, from what I'm to understand, the way it works is... If you gift memberships and there's not enough people in the chat, it will uh, divvy out a membership to someone who is a regular who watches the content. They changed it from originally when they tried doing this when this first launched like two years ago or whatever it was or last year. They changed the gifted memberships to work more properly now. Because originally that's what was happening. We were getting errors where the, the gifted memberships wouldn't go to anyone. But now apparently they do go out properly. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I get the feeling half the people who just got those gifted memberships weren't even here tonight. They just got them, so. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, tell me about these, these waste of time items that I have to waste another two hours getting for you tonight now. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but <sighs> you remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen. Sirta resides in the howling halls of mania. You find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. Local nomad, 
re up this membership for 24 months says are we eligible for a new member emote slot um i'm not sure because at one point we did have a ridiculous amount of memberships if you remember we had a ton gifted last year and at that time i added a ridiculous amount of member uh emotes so i don't think so at one point we had over 1000 members and we already had all those emote slots assigned so i'm going to say no uh, we would we would have we would need no exaggeration we would need 12 to 1300 members to be enough to unlock a new emote slot at this point so sad but true all right second item the trees and branches of this round feed from a deep font of madness and mystery one of the oldest trees named the tree of shades lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. Dude, the this is ridiculous. This is this DLC is never gonna end. It's seriously never gonna fucking end. I just want it to be over so we can go back to the main game and enjoy the main story. And it's like, they refuse to let this DLC end. It just keeps going stretched out over and over and over. Get collect quest, fetch quest, collect quest, fetch quest, fetch quest, fetch quest. It's terrible. I hate it. I, I this is the worst part of the playthrough for me. I enjoyed the main game a ton. I hate this DLC. I wish I saved my nine dollars. <laughs> I really do. It's fucking shit, man. All right, so let's see where they want me to go. So they want me to go to Milchar there, and they also want me to go to the Howling Halls. Jesus Christ. Should we do the Howling Halls first? Let's do the Howling Halls first. Let's go here. Yeah, let's do this. By the way, I received... Well, first of all, shout out to... Darth Golbach, who we have to membership for four months, and the DLC should have been called Elder Scrolls The Visual Novel. <laughs> right. And then, I just received a $5 tip. Again, from Jinx. It's, it's so funny. People are still going to think I'm only iced coffee, and that we're the same person, even though we were both gifting memberships at the same time from different accounts. Yeah, I know. It, people, people, you know, I don't know what to say. People will always have conspiracy theories about things no matter what. I mean, how could you be logged into two separate YouTube accounts gifting memberships at the same time? I don't know. Plus, they'll say The Stranger was, too, even though The Stranger was completely, you know, I mean, same time, but it was unrelated. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, thank you, Jinx. And then I got another tip. A dollar tip. Someone says, if free will exists, would you ever make the wrong decision, assuming you knew the consequences were bad and you weren't forced to make that decision? I think some people would. <laughs> I think some people would anyway. If it meant immediate personal gratitude or gain or pleasure, I think some people would still make the wrong decision because they don't care about the consequences. They just want the immediate enjoyment of something. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. So this way. Okay. Let's do this. A dog. So the alchemist, I guess you're one of the conspiracy theorists, huh? So, sure sounds to me like you are. You want to partake in those conspiracies, huh? It's not a good way to go through life, but you do you, man. <laughs> Jinx upgraded to an Ultra Supporter account. Thank you, Jinx, for upgrading to the Ultra membership. It doesn't... Uh, sadly, here on DSP Gaming, you don't really get anything for it. Just being honest, being transparent here... You don't get any really added benefits or anything as an Ultra Supporter. It just allows you to support the channel uh, in a bigger way. Uh, there are benefits to being an Ultra Supporter over on DSP React. Then you actually get your video watched for sure on my weekly React show. But uh, here, it's just, uh, you know, not much I can really do outside of what I'm already doing. So, But thank you so much, Jinx, for that. This dog is on my ass and not letting up, huh? On my butt. I'm trying to bite my butt cheeks. I think I lost it finally.
The dog is still fucking following me! Come on! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> fucking dog! Oh my god. Alright, I'm the man yo did a super jet saying, to be clear, we don't think... I like how he's speaking for other people. We don't think Jinx is OIC. He's a different uh, a person. I won't say more for drama reasons, but I love OIC. Well, there you go. Yeah, who, exactly. Who is we? Is this the royal we? Are you are you the ruler of a of a kingdom? I'm the man, yo. Maybe you are. Where do you where do you rule? Hoboken, New Jersey. <laughs> do you rule all the corner stores in Delaware? That's no lie. That statue just scared me. I was like, uh oh, what's that? It's just a statue. It's not a big deal. Okay. Raul loves my new hair. You like it? I went all natural. I don't dye my hair anymore. I just let it go naturally silver gray. What do you think? Beautiful, isn't it? What the fuck? Alright, hold on. If it's a magician, I might want to kill it. Because he might drop a fucking potion. These guys are weak, too. Oh my god, you're kidding me? Yes. They're gonna drop potions. I finally are gonna find enemies that are gonna drop fucking potions. Yes! The whole fucking DLC. I've been waiting. It's about goddamn time. Come on, apostles. These guys are pushovers. They die real fast, and they drop good items. Jade, thank you. Jade says, I'm happy for you tonight with all this support. Thank you, Jade. They, they die fast. And they barely hit. These guys are wimps. There's so many creatures that do more damage. We can kill them fast. It doesn't matter, see? Good. Yes! Give me those four potions of healing. More healing potions. I love it. 672 has re-upped his membership. It says, shout out to OIC, Jinx, One Minute Man, and Elon Musk. There you go. You gotta watch out, guys. Just so you know, spies are everywhere. I've been getting messages this week from, from people who I've never even heard of. And they're saying things like, people are... Uh, are basically sneak dissers. And I should be paying attention to everyone and what they say outside the streams. 672 was one. King Gokin was one. They're sending me these chat logs. They're like, look what they said in someone else's chat. Can you believe they would say this about you? I'm like, oh, I totally believe it. Like, seeing a chat log, you know, copy-pasted in an email is totally undeniable evidence of something. Especially considering the fact that there's thousands of fake chat logs out there about me saying that I said and did shit with people who I've never even fucking heard of before. You know? It's just undeniable evidence of something. Right? Uh, no, I'm never going to care that someone's sending me chat logs about something. It's so stupid. But these people just, again, they want to stir up drama. So they think, oh, if I do that, you know, this will get, this will get Phil paranoid and shit. That, all, that people who like him actually hate him and shit. Right? That's, yeah, 672, they say that about you all the time, though. They always say 672 is a sneak disser who really doesn't like me and goes to other chats and just shit talks me constantly everywhere else. But then when he's in here, he's nice. But he's always a, he's an asshole to me everywhere else on the internet, apparently. You are not one of us. Who's this? You, you do not belong here. Quickly, put on a robe before the others see you. They will kill you on sight. Please, I mean you no violence. Perhaps you can help me. This guy needs help? He gave me apostle robes. So 672 did a super chase people in person with me all the time. You know this. Dude, especially on YouTube, it means nothing. Anyone can make anyone's name on YouTube. Like, literally, anyone can impersonate someone's name. There's zero evidence in a chat log to say that that was actually the person who said or did something. Yeah, I get this all the time. Look what he said in this chat. Look what he said in that chat. I'm like, you guys are something else. I'm the man, yo, did another super chat. Says, my message came across wrong. I love the stream regardless. I don't know how to say what I want to. Oh, well, I appreciate your super chat. Okay. Speak before I run you through. Please to relax. <laughs> we have a common goal. You see, I know that you have not come here to join us, your grace. You have come to kill her, have you not? I can sense it all through you. You stink of violence. <laughs> It is glorious. Yes, I have heard of you. Tell me, is it true? Has Sheogorath sent you to kill Sirta for her vendetta against him? No, that didn't happen. Told the truth. 
For whatever reason you are here, <laughs> you mean Sirta ill, yes? Don't bother refuting me, I know the truth. <laughs> yes, I need I the, the eye, right? But the there eyeball. Are those of us here who want her gone as well, yes. <laughs> those of us who think that maybe we could leave better than she does. So, if you will help me, I will help you. Sirta will die, and you will not need to lift a finger. Then you can take whatever you need and go. What do you want me to do? I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to kill them all because I want the potions. But let's see what he has to say. I require <clears throat> weapons. What? For myself and for the apostles that will help me do the deed. She has forbidden me and those who support me from carrying weapons. I'm just going to kill this guy. And suspect. You want to bring you weapons? <laughs> Very clever, your grace. Bring to me three apostle daggers. Sirta must be slain with the weapons of the light if I am to take her place. No other weapons. But you must be discreet. Do not remove the robes or you will be attacked. Even I will have to kill you so I do not draw more suspicion to myself. And be cautious of killing my allies. I cannot forget... I have to think about it. Goodbye. Oh. Thanks. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Thanks for that very important mission. Anyway, it's like, now nah, I put up, oh yeah, see, I want all these potions. I want all these potions of healing, so I don't give a shit. I'm killing everything in this tomb, and I'm taking all the potions for myself. I deserve them after all the shit I put up with in this DLC. I got more tips coming in, good lord. King Gabriel did a super chat, well, first of all, Timmy Baxter did a super chat. He's talking about coming out of the closet. Good for you. I don't know why you would do it on my stream, but good for you. King Gabriel did a super chat and says, do you like games with alternate endings? I don't. Uh, depends on the ending. If it's like a secret additional ending because you did a ton of extra content, sure, why not? But if they're kind of meaningless, like, I'll give you an example. Elden Ring's endings are shit. They're terrible little cutscenes, yet the game won't give you the platinum unless you get, like, a ton of them. It's so stupid. It's very well, very poorly done in that regard. But, uh, they have to be meaningful. Okay. Duh! Jinx, I wouldn't worry too much. He said there's someone in the chat named The Man saying he doesn't like him. I don't even know who that is. I wouldn't worry too much about people who say they don't like you. In life, there's going to be a lot of people who don't like you. You just ignore them and you move on with uh, positivity, right? You can't win everyone over. Me, I've won over about 0% of the people on YouTube, but I'm still happy. So, uh, Vestry 2.0 Hype says Chill Murray 7 with a dollar and four cent tip. Uh, well, I, technically you can say this kind of has been the Vestry 2.0. But as uh, Jinx said, this will be the last day that they'll be doing a giant contribution like that. So if it is to continue, we will have to see what ends up happening, you know, when I come back on Thursday. Um, you know, will there be more people who will also support in a similar manner to keep the street going? Or I just want to find out. And if not, it's not a big deal. Being on... Oh, strawberry. That looks delicious. Taking it. Uh... If not, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Oh, shit. Here we go. Potion of healing, potion of magic. This is great. I'm restocking all the potions that I haven't had for the whole freaking DLC. Keep in mind what I'm looking for is a perfect or, or unflawed pearl for that quest earlier that we never finished because we never found another one. Just stand there while I beat the shit out of you. Let your blood squirt against the wall. Thanks. 
Like, they literally did not balance this at all. As you can tell, some of these areas have been insanely ridiculously tough, and others say that they're just so... Like, this is a pushover area, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jinx, I didn't really understand what the message was that you were getting at. I'm just... The point I'm trying to make is don't let what people say get to you. Just ignore their bullshit, you know? Really. There's a, sh a shitload of bullshit around, and... No reason to, to let that stuff bother you. Wait a minute. Oh, there's another door? There's a set, a different door over here. What's up, K-Styles? K-Styles just re-upped his membership at the Ultra level for 24 months. Earning himself that 24-month crown. The Rose Gold Crown. How many more people will earn the Rose Gold Crown? I'm curious how many people have actually been two years of supporters that are going to be coming up with renewals. Pretty awesome. Thank you guys for that. I'm happy to have you guys along this journey. Me being a full-time YouTube streamer for two years. You know, not liter not doing it at the place that's the popular place to do it, but still being successful. I really appreciate that. I'm the man, yo. Did a super chase? Says it's me. I'm the man. I was triggered about some stuff he said before, but now I'm done. All right. Well, the man is done. He was triggered, but he's been untriggered. Or maybe he's been, he had an itchy trigger finger and he released his finger from the trigger. And now the trigger has been fingered. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Just everyone, let's be nice to each other. Enough with the fingering, enough with the triggering. <laughs> I've had enough of this. All right. I'm trying to get this DLC done. Tonight, I don't know if I'm going to at this rate because it just keeps dragging on and it's really pissing me off at this point. Chef D re-upped his membership. He says, hey, look at that. Thank you, Chef D, for re-upping your membership. Ready? We're going to charge in and just kill everything. Go. Hello, Surta. Are you a Surta perfect sleeper? No, but I'm gonna put you to fucking sleep in a second. Surta's dead thing, your eyes a simple matter now. Sorry about that, Luminary. Surta's key, Surta's eye. I have Surta's eye. I should now seek out the second item that I need to, re to create the staff of Shiogura. Yeah, why in the holy hell? By the way, I'm going to take this worth a lot of money, so I'm going to take it and sell it. Why in the holy hell would I have wanted to do that whole quest line to come in here and let another guy become leader? Fuck that. Just kill them. It takes two seconds. And I could sleep and level up. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty right here. Boom. So what do I want to put levels into? Um... What really sucks is that... Okay, level 5 endurance, definitely. But I'm going to go once again with intelligence and willpower. Because I'm trying to level up my magic abilities. So, there we go. Itchy trigger figure with a stable turntable. I do what I do best because I'm willing to enable, says Clay JT. Good for you. I don't remember what song that's from, but uh, it rhymed nicely. It's all junk. Potion of Feather. Alright, so is there any way to, to leave quickly? Or we have to go all the fucking way back? We have to go all the fucking way back. Ugh. We're halfway there. Now we gotta do the other dungeon, whatever it will be. I got a bunch of healing potions here, which is good. And, uh... Hopefully the other dungeon will be speedy and we'll be able to get the staff and finish the DLC tonight. Yes, I remember Crazy Taxi King Michael. How could I forget? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one that had uh, Offspring. Offspring was part of the soundtrack. I remember. That was a Beastie Boys song, Travis? I see. Beastie Boys. There's some nice corpses. <laughs> How nice. They're just hanging out. Yes, the Offspring. Remember that group? Yeah, I played Crazy Taxi in arcades. A lot of people don't even know it was an arcade game, but I played it in arcades back in the day. It actually was, uh... It was very fun. 
very fun game with very crazy graphics at the time. A lot of arcade games were 2D. That was the era where games were becoming 3D, and it ran at full 60 frames per second in the arcades. It was a, a, a very good-looking game. So, a lot of people played it on Dreamcast too. Oh yeah, Tough Tough said I played at the movie theater along with Jet Moto. I never saw Jet Moto before. Hmm. What's a Jet Moto? Was it on GameCube? I knew that they had ported it to Dreamcast and PlayStation. I did not know it was on GameCube. Jet Moto was a PS1 game? Oh, I never played that one. It's funny because PS1 era, I played a ton of games. Like every week, every, every other week. My parents uh, would go grocery shopping and I'd go with them. And usually there was either a video rental store in the grocery store itself, or we would go to the video rental store like maybe once every couple of weeks, get some movies and games, and I would get a game. And I played a ridiculous amount of PS1 games as weekly rentals. But I feel like I barely scratched the surface of the PS1 library because there were so many games over the course of the life cycle of that. All right, we're going to here, which means it looks like Either the Dreamwalk Camp or Hail would be the way to go. I guess we'll go to Dreamwalk Camp. Wow, these fuckers are hitting me with magic. A Heretic Crusader? A potion of personality? Who the fuck would use that? A potion of personality. Right. Alright, we're heading this way. Did I play the original GTA games on PS1? I owned the original GTA. Get this. On PC, and the way I played it was, if you played it, if you played it on PC, all right, you could then um, remove the game disc after the game loaded, and after you remove the game disc, you could actually uh, put in a different music CD, and the the game would actually think that you were playing the game itself, and it would load music tracks from other games or or a music CD and play them. So I used to play GTA, but I used to put in like the basketball soundtrack. You ever see, <laughs> you ever see that movie Basketball? Yeah, I would put in like the basketball soundtrack and other shit. It was pretty crazy. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, um, I wonder if my YouTube channel is even working right because it seems to be loading very weird. It really does seem to be loading pretty oddly. I think it's working. Your stream's fine with you guys, right? I just want to be sure everything's working fine for you guys. It looks like YouTube may be loading weird tonight. Yeah, I don't know. YouTube's just being weird tonight. I don't know why. Being very odd. I don't know. Uh, as long as you guys can see the stream and everything's fine. Yeah. There's weird stuff going on. <clears throat> stream is good. Stream is perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Like, my queue for Streamlabs stopped updating. So I'm like, there's contributions, and I'm shouting them out as they're actually appearing uh, on the screen. But they're not showing up in my Streamlabs activity queue, and I don't know why. I think Streamlabs isn't loading. Yeah, I don't think Streamlabs is loading. I think Streamlabs is glitched, and I think YouTube also is not loading. Like, I think everything just stopped loading for me. <laughs> Here, I'm going to test something. This is a test. This is not this is not real. This is a test. You guys ready? Oh, look. The animation didn't play. I think Streamlabs just crapped out on me. And I don't know if it means I need to log out and log back in. I might have to. Yeah. Because the animation didn't play. Let me try logging out and logging back in. Try this again. Uh, 
Now it seems to be loading again. Well, it's trying to load. Yeah, look, it's trying to load. It's having issues. Let's look. Hopefully this fixed the problem. I hope so. Let me test again. No. I don't know what's going on. It looks like uh, Streamlabs has completely crapped out. <clears throat> All of a sudden, like 15 minutes ago, it was working perfectly fine, and it just stopped working. Yeah. So now my animations are not working, and the queue is not working. Like, nothing is working. I logged out, I logged back in, there's no errors, nothing wrong with it. But for some weird reason, nothing's working. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Weird. You know what I can do? Hold on. I'm going to test something here. The animation is playing in Streamlabs. So maybe something crapped out in the stream? Well, how is that possible when I didn't change anything? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it stopped working. Which is weird, because I changed absolutely no settings whatsoever. Obviously, I'm here streaming. I didn't change anything. So I don't know what could have changed. That would have screwed everything up right in the middle of a stream. Because the animations are still working. But all of a sudden, right in the middle, it stopped. Like, you guys were still contributing. For example, I saw K-Styles had re up to the ultra supporter i'm the man yo did a super chat chef d had done a super chat and so i shouted those out or chef d actually renewed their membership so i shouted those out but none of those are showing up in my Streamlabs queue right now at all but i can reload and it reloads fine and i'm logged in and there's no problem with the login like i have no idea what's going on I don't know. I don't think it overloaded or anything. It's so weird. Hmm. Well, this sucks. There is a tip. I'm going to shout it out. I can't do an animation right now. The animations don't seem to work. The YouTube side, I can see everything. But for some reason, nothing is working with Streamlabs. Like, nothing's uploading at all. Or updating at all. And I don't know why. The only thing I can think of is to try to completely copy-paste differently here. Let me try something. <clears throat> Do this, 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 this. Okay. Okay, so I updated it. Hit save. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. It seems to have crapped out. It did change the link, though. It absolutely did change the link. No, if I were if I were banned from anywhere, it would say, I I cannot take tips 
through Streamlabs for many years, but everything else is allowed. Like, you know, it tracks everything, but I can't do tips or anything through Streamlabs for many, many years. But, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I don't know why it stopped working. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Again, like, the animations are playing. When I hit preview, the animations play in Streamlabs itself, but then they're not showing up on the stream. And I didn't change any settings live on the stream. I was obviously streaming. How could I have changed the setting on the stream? It doesn't even make any sense. So I have no clue what changed, but something very weird happened here and changed and screwed everything up. And just refresh the cache of the current page. I just clicked that. But I don't think it's working. I don't know. This sucks because now I have no pop-ups for you guys. And Streamlabs isn't tracking anything properly. So because it's not tracking, I have to rely now on things showing up in the chat to shout out. I have no clue what just went wrong. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't fix it either, it, it appears. Like, if this has happened before, and usually if I refresh, it works, or there's another thing, there's a weird setting that happens when OBS updates itself. It's like, oh, use hardware acceleration, but it didn't update itself. Like, literally, the, the animations were working during this stream, no problem. You know what I mean? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna, it just makes sense to split the part now. I'm gonna split the part and and uh, and try to figure this out. Okay. <clears throat>